Generations come and go, says Ecclesiastes, but the earth remains the same. So it is with Presbyterian women. Leadership comes and goes, well, in our case, leadership goes and returns. <laughs> but the connections among us that make our mission and ministry possible remain the same. I would like to take this moment to honor all leaders in Presbyterian women, and yes, we are all leaders, so thank you. And now I would like to ask those who have served on the churchwide coordinating team of Presbyterian women to please rise in body or in spirit. I know you're everywhere, so. Now I want Mary, Pam, and Sheila to, to look around. Yeah, they've sat down. <laughs> and all of you members of the churchwide coordinating team of 2012 2015 who are, who are transitioning, transitioning tonight, these are your CCT sisters. And we remember those who, of course, are not here with us tonight. Thank you, CCT, for your service and for your ongoing role in ensuring our past present and future connections. One body, one spirit. We have heard a lot about relationship during this gathering, those connections sparked by God and maintained through the Holy Spirit that bind us together as a community of faith. Jesus called us to live in community. We've experienced a triennium of transition. The PW landscape shifts with the PCUSA landscape. Changes in the church have affected Presbyterian women at every level of the organization, from congregational to national. At the national level, we have spent long hours preparing for and responding to change. We have learned to think and act in new ways in order to be good stewards of the resources, human and other, that are entrusted to us by you and by God. We leave this triennium confident about the future because of skilled dedicated, and passionate leadership. Mary Jorgensen has called herself the moderator of no. <laughs> Not just no, we shouldn't spend any money on that, though that's come up a time or two. But of no, we can't continue to do things the way we have done them and expect to grow into the future. She has said yes to flexibility and to change. She has navigated the spaces between PW staff and the churchwide coordinating team, as well as Presbyterian Women, Inc. and the agencies of the Presbyterian Church USA. PW and the church are stronger for it. She, thank you. Sheila Louder reminds us of our commitment to give voice to the voiceless. She has challenged us to ask deep and often uncomfortable questions about inclusion and to see the truth about what living in community actually means. Thank you, Sheila. <laughs> Pam Snyder has traveled thousands of miles sharing the story of PW mission and ministry with hundreds of PDubs as her grandchildren call us, <laughs> get it, P-dubs, and others. A Christ-centered human resources professional, Pam has shown us where grace and professionalism meet. <laughs> she has brought just the right amount of humor to whatever is happening and made it somehow tolerable. Pam has a way of making all feel welcome and empowered. She embodies radical hospitality. <laughs> this is my seventh churchwide coordinating team transition. <laughs> and I must, <laughs> yeah, no, wow. <laughs> And I must say that I'm never quite ready to let them go. 
So I lean on the promise of ongoing relationships and the hope of building new relationships as our PW leadership comes and goes. God's blessings on each of you as you transition to your new calling and service to Presbyterian women, the church, and to God. Thank you. <laughs>